done and the aftermath of a whatnot show. Oh yes, all of these. Actually, there's not so much of a mess. Got some bits there. That's for mum. I forgot about that ring. To investigate that ring. Some silver earrings and all the orders to go out. Things to list. Kitten to chase. I'm not chasing you. Okay. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Let me shut the door. Good. Yes, I'm in my night here. Um, Mum's downstairs with the gardener. Yes, we have a gardener. No, I'm kidding. Um, we have a dude that comes round to um, cut the grass. He started like a fortnight ago. So this is the second trim of the season. Um, it's just it's a lot easier because it's quite a long garden as well, especially in the little bit where it actually needs like the gar grass cutting properly, like because it's quite bumpy and even ground and stuff. Um, like we can't actually get a lawnmower down there, but he's got a petrol mower. So he comes and does that and he's got like a petrol strimmer thingy and a leaf blowery type thing. So um, he does he does our lawns for us. We have a man in to do the lawns. It's delightful. He's probably called Giles or something. <laughs> I've got my low carb um, toast. This is the um, fruit and cinnamon one. And I've got a little bit of low carb chocolate spread on that one. Yum, yum. And yeah, like I said, I've got um, 30 packages to send out on whatnot. Um, it was another, like, I d honestly, like, these unboxing ones, like, they're great fun, but oh my god, that went on for, like, three and a half hours, like, but I think they're, they're becoming, like, my, my favourite one to do, because they, they just, um, people seem to like them, and, and I like them, and you just never know what you're going to get, and you never know what's going to sell as well, which is always quite a nice surprise, so that's cool, so... Right, obviously I might have mentioned I'm going on holiday um, on Thursday, so there won't be another What Not show, obviously on Sunday. And then there's a possibility, like, that the Sunday after I'll be in Paris buying stuff. Um, and on the way back from Paris, I'm going to stop in London, um, so there won't be one that weekend either but I might I'm basically I'm gonna sneak in a whatnot show tonight and then I'll sneak in another one next like Tuesday or Wednesday um like after I come back from Lanzarote and then I'll go to Paris then I'll go to London then come back and then it'll be another and then it'll be normal service like on a Sunday I like doing Sundays um Sundays at six Sundays at six with Lex. Um, yeah, I'm happy to continue that. I think that's, it's quite nice. It's a bit chill. I like it. Yeah. Any hoot, um, I'm going to eat my toast because it's going cold. And I will show you what's going out on eBay. And then I'm going to start on the huge tumultuous pile of what not orders. Anyways, back in a sec. Okay, so this is Saturday and Sunday sales off of eBay um, from Leon 2. This little, uh, you can't see it, but it's got like the little Libra scales in there. Um, it's a little cute pendant, vintage pendant that went for six pounds to a repeat buyer, which is nice. Um, some cool spiral clip-on dangly earrings went for $7.99. A Bowden skirt. Um, I started a 30% off sale on nearly all the clothing items. All the clothing items it let me put into the sale anyway. Um, on my eBay store. Oh, clothing on eBay. Well, that's a kettle of fish. We might get into that in a bit after this morning's announcement. Um, this lovely abalone puffed oval shell pendant necklace, £7.19. 
is Statement Blue Wooden. It's got like all diamond shaped wooden bits. Um, collar length necklace, six ninety nine. There's long antique French jet with a Rousselet clasp, but don't think the actual beads are Rousselet, but the clasp is. Or I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I think it is. Anyways, that went for twenty five pounds. The sterling silver Rachel Galley, which I sh uh, like ring, which I showed in a whatnot show, um, that went for twenty nine ninety nine. The Modernist Spiral Brooch went for $7.99. This is a nice sale. A Butler and Wilson, little damage to the box there, but 50 golden years. Dancing Couple Brooch, never been out of packaging. That went for $54.99. Horse Riding, Horse Jumping Brooch, $9.99. Hobbs, like um, grey and like gunmetal coloured knobbly bobbly. And a beaded necklace and bracelet set went for eleven ninety nine. This Nephrite Jade Dragon pendant necklace, uh, thirteen pounds fifty nine, and a job lot of pendants, ten pounds thirty nine. And then over on Etsy, another ring that I showed in the um, whatnot show, and this smoky topaz ring, I think went for twenty two pounds something like that. So that's what I've got to package up now. Ah, fun, fun. Post finished, just in time to watch Nick and Andrea talking about all of this crazy eBay stuff. Ugh. Hour and a half later, parcels done. Got to head out now. Post them all. Whee. Parcels all done. I did pop into the two charity shops there, but nothing very exciting in there, so never mind. Right, so thoughts on the new eBay fees then? Well, lack of fees for private sellers um, in the clothing category <sighs> was a little bit like eh, about it earlier um, because it's another thing that does not help business sellers um, and even though people can go like oh but Lex doesn't apply to you you're not a clothing seller um, but if eBay aren't getting the fees from private sellers, if they're not paying any fees, they're still going to want to make the same money. So it just means that there will be fees in other places, which will probably go to us business sellers, just like how the jewellery category um, had their fees increased. So, <sighs> but again, like I said in Nick and Andrea's chat, um, we adapt and we move and because we have to, because that's what business is about. Ooh, it's all flooded in the underpass. I'll have to go the other way. So yeah, a little bit now thinking about it now. It is going to suck for, I think, clothing business sellers. Um, not immediately, but I think eventually. Because if there are more sellers on there, um, selling their cheaper items because they're not paying fees. Um, and we all know that eBay push private accounts more than they push business ones because they want business ones to pay for promoted uh, anyway it just feels like a little bit of a, a middle finger up but yeah so although not directly um, affecting me for now um, I can imagine that fees will probably go up again in other places and other categories and stuff <sighs> anyways I thought it was um, good that Georgie, you know, reseller Georgie, um, he did a, a little video about it this morning as well. And he makes quite a good point that like, can you imagine if eBay just went, no fees for anyone, including business sellers. Like, would that actually make Vinted a bit scared? Would it put Vinted out of business? Who knows? Something interesting to think about anyway. Or is it? Ah, oh, it's just numbers, isn't it? Boring. Instead, let's do what we do best. It's the bigger base at the top of town. And of course, there's a rabbit in a box. That's exactly where I'd keep my rabbit. Pink doll's house stuff. Oh, and they're playing a bit of Metallica in here. The tea set, Borough Market. Oh. Yeah, too big for what I want. Oh, 
want. I'm still looking for a little set of shelves for my bedroom. They will turn up at some point. Looks a bit like the shambles. Yeah, it is the shambles. <laughs> Ten pound though. I don't think we'd put it up in our house to be honest, but yeah, the shambles. Uh -oh. Little golfy game. Oh no, we got in a bunker. Uh, bushes. Oh, it's really hard. Oh, it's a five. Contact. Mm. Right. Hi, this is uh, nearly open. It's going to be a sports bar, which is just brilliant for Bridge End. <sighs> Anyways, so right. Uh, I mean, I can't complain. I won't go there though, obviously. Stephen pointed out some um, bits that were in here the other week. Oh, look. And I came back to look for them, but they'd already been bought. Ooh. Never mind. I mean, it was a breakable thing anyway, and I don't want to do breakables. I don't like it. Like that. Can you imagine how much of a pain in the ass that would be the pack? And now anything new in Heart Foundation. Fish cutlery set. I think I'm okay for fish cutlery. Not doing clothes. Yes. I say that because once I was in there and um, a piece of like metal POF stuff, point of sale stuff, fell that he hadn't secured to the wall and he even said that he hadn't secured it into the wall and that uh, he thought that he should have, um, fell and hit me on the back of the head and like proper whacked me and left a bump and everything and um, nothing was done about it. Even though I complained to head office and complained about him because there was reaction and stuff but Anyways, more cherry shop. She always plays uh, rock and roll type music in here. She definitely likes her rockabilly stuff. Quick looking PDSA. The big butterfly. Yeah. And now into the new air ambulance. They're just still looking pretty fresh. But we shall see. Uh, some of the volunteers look familiar, come from other shops. It's quite nice. <laughs> right. Now Well, I bought that necklace and earrings, not quite set, but they were in a box together. Um, and a brooch as well. So a whole £7.50 spent. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to pop in the doctor, see if I can get a prescription for Valium for flying. <sighs> um, and then home for lunch. Back home now, I'm going to make myself some lunch. I'm going to have a low carb roll. Um, a bit of corned beef, maybe a bit of cheese, some tomatoes, coffee, and then it looks like mum's planning a chicken curry for tea, and I am not mad about that. Lunch is done. I'm going to give this place a little tidy up. Um, 
feels a bit messy and stuff so i'm gonna sort out some general things need box for the next financial year for receipts and things that goes up there and uh, yeah gonna have a tidy put my phone on charge for a bit but I've, um, I've done all my tidying up I've just got to take my cups and plate downstairs from breakfast so I've been sat here while my phone has been charging um, and I've been sorting out what I'm going to do in tonight's what, show, what not show and I will show you so this is my little display for tonight we've got some pendants we've got some cool rings we've got like plain band type well plain ones without gems I mean and then ones with gems on this side some pretty bracelets some more rings some earrings whoops um got some lush bangles and then we got gorgeous gorgeous necklaces so that's what's on offer tonight meanwhile um i'm apparently allowed to go and pick up my prescription for valium now Woo! so huzzah huzzah for that Huzzah for the NHS. Thank you very much. Okay. I shall see you guys later in the whatnot show. It might take me ages to upload this because for some reason my internet's been funny recently, but there we are. Um, but if I see you there or I have seen you there, thank you very much. And I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.